is going on everyone this is Regan and welcome back to yet another unboxing and review video another newly released figure of hot toys and this is none other than from the Marvel Studios I am Groot Groot collectible figure wow he has his own collectibles deluxe version TMS089 of course by Hot Toys. Oh my goodness, I am really excited with this one. I always wanted to get the you know I a Groot figure. I, I remember the first one that's kind of like exclusive version. I didn't get a chance to get one because that was exclusive that you had to line up the uh, with, with the suit of the Guard Guardians of the Galaxy. And the second one I forgot already with uh, somehow like in a space. And then this one finally I decided to get one because it looks really cool, especially with that different head that is amazing. Amazing. So yeah, I'm really excited to share with you guys this one and before we start if you are new here to our channel Please consider to subscribe and press the notification bell as well if you want to get notified once I upload a new video Especially hot toys and don't forget to hit the like button as well if you want to support this channel Okay, without further ado, let's dive in. Oh my goodness. So this is the art box. It looks really cool Especially the picture, uh, very vibrant. I mean, like the, the quality looks really nice. I love it. So you really have to take care of this one if you're going to keep that box, right? So there's a lot of green right there on the top, at the bottom, right here on the side as well. Of course, you guys cannot see it. There you go. So yeah, it has some like small. There you go. The Disney Plus. See, that's uh, what I'm trying to uh, expl I mean like uh, I want to say it earlier Disney Plus so this is also from the Disney Plus uh, which is like show so yeah anyway and at the back I uh, forgot to show you guys very quick so anyway uh, I'm gonna open this one and uh, I'm really excited to see it BAM there you go that is amazing very neat packaging the presentation is amazing it has some small paper right here I really like this one guys Look at that. So let me take it out this one first. There you go. So for sure, this is not the instruction sheet, but it looks like. Oh my gosh, we is gonna love this one because see at the back, some kind of like uh, it's it's kind of like a made out of from the newspaper or magazine, right? Yeah, or from the comics. Yeah, because see Marvel World. This is amazing so you could actually move those eyes right see can you see it right it's nice diba? See, so I showed to you and then let me check if there's a there you go there's a instruction sheet uh, let me show you guys that one first and underneath we got this uh, clear uh, figure but it's not uh, movable and also his extra pajamas let's do this very quick because it's just Groot so I'm not sure if you guys also like this one I mean like it looks really cool but if you're into Groot I think you're gonna love this one there you go that's quite thick wow that's a lot of instruction so this is the instruction sheet see it's a very long paper. Oh my goodness. Oh my. You really have to take a look at this one, guys. I mean, like, you have to check this out if you're, uh, of course, going to assemble him. Nice. Amazing. This is amazing. And uh, hmm. let me sh let me show you guys this one first. This is his extra pajama. Looks really cool. Love the color. Wow, <laughs> this looks really cool, diba? Right? Looks cool. So it's kind of like inserted from the box, this like protector box cardboard. And yeah, the quality, very soft, guys. Oh my goodness. I wonder if we could put this to our 1-6, one, one of our 1-6 uh, uh, figure. And uh, yes, it has an extra. Yeah, this looks really cool. Uh, great timing for Christmas. Wow. <laughs> right? Kind of like that. So anyway, so it has some zipper right here. You can unzip that and some button. Oh, yeah. The, actually, it's not uh, buttons, but it's more of like a Velcro design. Okay, love the quality and the print and the patterns. Amazing. And then next up right here course I'm gonna open this one mm. 
this thing is kind of like reminds me of like you know those uh, like classic uh, toys that you could buy easily from the market or from the maybe not maybe groceries <laughs> or somewhere like in the wet markets right something like that you know or like kind of like a Japanese style uh, figure those rubber rice or a plasticky figure this one looks really cool right you could actually put some lights inside right and it will glow right Ryu looks really cool so I saw that you could move the head something like this yeah wait let me oh no no it's not detachable head I thought we could uh, detach the head but uh, yeah oh you could move also the hand I mean the arms uh, yeah it has some articulation so the hands and the head I mean the arms and the head so yeah it looks really cool guys oh my gosh this is really nice so it's better to put something you know uh, some lights here at the back maybe yellow or whatever color you want to okay anyway I'm gonna put this one at the side so let me remove this one first Okay, so let me open this packaging, big packaging tray right here. Oh wow, nice, nice, nice. So I'm gonna start with this one, this small pieces right here. Let me zoom a little bit. There you go. So this is probably um, you going to attach to his body. Yes. It looks like a, like a real green uh, leaf or green plants, right? See? Looks really cool. Okay, we're gonna put this one inside later. We're gonna... So we got some... Uh, I'm not sure... Yeah, that looks like a cucumber. <laughs> like a small cucumber, right? Yeah, this one looks really cool. So probably it has some magnetic uh, parts there later. I'm gonna find out. I believe this one is his kind of like a mustache, right? Yeah, green color. That's a lot of green around here, right? And then also this one. Yeah, the colors looks nice, right? Love the paint job. And then we got a pair of uh, extra interchangeable hand uh, fist gesture. See, so just one pair. Okay, looks good. Love the details as well. If you're, if you like, uh, you know, green leafy vegetables, <laughs> that looks like this one. You know, like that. Anyway, so moving on to this side. Oh wait, we got extra joints right here, two pieces. Okay, I'm gonna do this very quick. So I believe this one is uh, his arms. Yeah. So this is also his arms, right? So you can see this is like the elbows, and there's already some joints attached uh, on it. Okay, and then this is where you're going to put the hands, okay? One here. We got the, uh, I'm not sure about this one, probably. It's like a, kind of like a backpack. Kind of like uh, we're going to attach this to the back, right? Kind of like that. Looks good. Right here. This one is quite soft. So this one looks like we're going to attach to his arms, probably. Yeah, looks like, yeah, see? Wow, it looks like a kind of like squeegee, right? Squeegee thing, Ryu, right? See? <laughs> that looks really cool, guys. This is fun. And the next up is his head. Uh, headdress. Let's call it headdress. I don't know what's the... Oh, no, 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 actually not headdress. This is still part of the body. Yeah, looks like... Uh, because this one looks like a tail to me. <laughs> Maybe, right? Because this one, this is where we're going to... Put his arms like shoot it there and then this is for the head right also squish it feel which is absolutely fantastic I love it and uh, yeah so this one also this one squishy um, this one is the head yeah so this is the headdress yes this is amazing guys also squishy uh, I mean but this one is a bit thicker than the other yes okay yeah quite thick wow this is nice the next last uh, attachable to the body is this one right here also uh, made out of rubber material squishy but this one is thicker really thick 
you know, uh, more like I'd say like a bit harder actually than the other two. Right, looks really cool. Amazing. And then we got the two head sculpt right here. We got two uh, interchangeable head sculpt. Amazing. This one is a serious one. His serious face. And then this one, kind of like, you know, happy. Right, not smiling, but happy, I'd say, like in a good mood. That this one is in a bad mood, you know? See? <laughs> that looks really cool. Love the details, the paint application, and the weathering. Absolutely incredible, guys. Yeah, I wish we could move the eyes, but no, we can't. Right? Or even the mouth, right? And on the top, some green, uh, not so vibrant, you know, I mean the colors. Okay? There you go. And then, of course, last but not the least is the main figure oh my goodness this is absolutely beautiful guys love this one this looks really cool love it i wish i could get you know um i will try i will still try my best to get that you know exclusive version the very first version of Groot because that one is quite expensive now huh? because i saw someone selling it and uh, since it's exclusive and it's kind of rare so uh the price is went up marked up already so yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth to buy one. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay. So, this is the figure. Absolutely amazing. It's quite heavy. So, I'm going to remove this one. Right. So, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, wow. That's a lot, guys. This is really, really fun. And then his shirt. And then also the shirt. Be careful because this one is easy, so easy to uh, damage. You know, especially if you have some sharp parts on your nails or fingers so be careful on this one there you go so i think that's pretty much everything included inside the box so now i'm gonna test very quick the articulation so we could play around with accessories and those interchangeable parts and accessories right let's go right so let's test the articulations very quick it's pretty tight i can hear some sounds there wow <laughs> Wow, that is really, really tight. I mean, not tight, but probably the texture inside is very rough. Okay, you could also move the neck down. Look up. Nah, that's it. Okay, side. Yes, side for some nice. So this one is the smiling expression. Okay, yes, look to the side. And there you go. Okay, and then moving on to the arms. There you go. Very easy to move. I think it's really fun to play with this one. Okay, up to 90 degrees, or actually even uh, above 90 degrees. And then elbows, there you go. Other side, that looks really cool. Okay, wow, that is amazing, right? But not double jointed because it's not. Yeah, it is what it is. So, and then the wrist, wow. The wrist, I mean the wrist joint has some screw. Wow, that's kind of new, huh? That's, I mean like, at least it's durable, right? It looks good. I hope all our figures are like that. I mean, you know, but probably it's too small. But this one is, it's a little bit big, so that's why it has some screw, right? Anyway, the so the wrist joint is pretty standard, you know, uh, normal. At least it's not loose, so you could move up and down as well, okay? back front there you go up all the way up there okay so he's now happy and then now moving on to this so it has some um, not waistline but torso articulations there you go see right there which is absolutely fantastic right that looks really cool not doesn't have crunch in an arch but at least side you could twist all the way to the other side that is amazing right Okay, and then the uh, the legs. Yeah, the legs. That's it. Open. Front. Up there. So you could uh, sit him down. And then to the back for sure. Go running. Running uh, pose. And then the knees. Also, it has some knees. Wow. <laughs> that looks really cool, guys. There you go. Okay. And then... The ankle joint or the the what's this like on the feet? Yeah, you could twist. That's it. You could only twist it. Okay, 
Ah, this looks really really fun guys. Okay, so I think that's it for the articulations. Very quick guys. I think uh, I think it looks great, you know, in my honest opinion for this kind of figure. Okay, so let me change the uh, face cut first. So this one is just the half face. So it's quite hard to hmm, attach. I mean like it's hard to find. It's kind of, you know, kind of hard to find the right spot so yeah you just have to find it carefully okay i think it looks good okay it's already like uh, aligned and uh, at least it's not uneven right so let me change to the other one the other face that bad mood bad mood face expression <laughs> or angry see so it's not like so easy to attach right away so you really have to find the right you know position the right uh you know right spot there wow so this one is quite hard huh oh see so you have to put some extra force you know like yeah but i think once you attach it that's it see it's uh not uh i mean it's tight so it's not so easy to detach from the head all right that looks good amazing anyway so moving on to the next part which is okay the next one will be let's try this uh mustache like this all right looks really cool or if you're no 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 not like that or maybe here no 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 yeah it's just here guys there you go <laughs> this looks really cool and then actually the eyes this is for the eyes but that's actually it's not for this one it's kind of like this guys there you go right <laughs> this looks really really cool guys so yeah so this is where you're going to put or maybe ah nah you can't put it here only to smiling face only to this one so the other two doesn't have that magnet so meaning this uh, cucumber thing <laughs> is dedicated for this one. Okay, and then the mustache is only for this. Yes, only for uh, but just like a bad mood facial expression. Yeah, this one is quite tight uh, compared to the other uh, face cup. It's kind of scary to detach, you know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That looks really cool. So make sure if you're going to shoot the headdress, it's uh, this, uh, what is this, like small plant right here on his head. You have to hit that part right there, that hole. Okay, so it won't damage or like break that small plants growing up there. Okay, you could use this uh, expression. It's either this one or the smiling face, okay? So now he's a little bit heavy now. <laughs> okay, it looks really cool. Yes, so for the poodle style, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right? That looks really, really cool, guys. <laughs> wow, this is really fun. Moving on to the next style, okay? Let's uh, try that angry face or bad mood. Okay, so first we're gonna put this one to his head. Okay, and then we're gonna put this one right here. There you go. Wow, <laughs> that looks really cool, right? Looks like a vest. So we don't need to attach the other, um, the other arms. Right, so we're just gonna use this one at least. It's easier, right? So I feel like I wanna buy a few more <laughs> Groot, like so you could display. I think that's again, that's always the purpose of you know hot toys. Aside from you know you had interchangeable uh, like uh, parts, accessories that uh, you could decide your own style. At the same time, if you want to use all the style, then you have to purchase more. You know, so that's the clever idea for business side of you know hot toys anyway this one the mustache and then his feet no 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 no. i think yeah 
oh yeah this one right here is kind of like a necktie right here and of course his feet let's try this one so yeah at least you don't need to remove the other one right because it's going to be loose if you're uh i mean it's going to get loose eh? i mean once you detach it from the arms There you go. So at least you could this one you could use it there. I mean you could keep it there already. You know, I mean like this hands. You're just gonna change the arms and that's it, right? So you don't need to always like keep removing those joints. The although the joints, huh? You can see it looks very durable. Right? Aside from the screw and then the quality, it looks good. So you could also use the open hands actually. Wow, ratchet joints. <laughs> that looks really cute. <laughs> this is really fun. Look for you. <laughs> right? Yeah, in the boxing. Yeah. <laughs> That's really nice. Oh my gosh. I love the hair. Anyway, uh, last but not the least is the pajamas uh, uh, look or style. Okay? Gosh, this looks really cool. Can we rotate? Oh, we cannot rotate this one. So, But it's quite heavy. Yeah. So there's no base. So if you're going to display him, then you can stand. Nice, that's cool. Really cool, guys. Right, so the next is the. Wait, let me remove. Let me remove first the feet. All right, so this is how it looks like with the pajama style. Looks amazing. Looks really, really cool. I love it. I love the look of this one, right? But I might not gonna, you know, use this one for display. I'm uh, probably gonna use the other because this one is so easy to get damaged. I mean, like, I love the quality. I love the material. So I just want to, I mean, like, I want to preserve this, uh, this pajama. So maybe if I'm going to get another group, probably gonna use this one, you know. But for now, probably gonna keep it inside the box or like hide it in my, you know, some plastics. You know, uh, because this one's so easy to get some, you know, um, like pull out threads, especially this one. Oh. So, ah, oh my gosh. So, it's so hard to, you know, fix that. You might not gonna be able to fix that. So, but you know, the material feels really good in the hands. You know, I really love this one. I love the look. And I think this is where we're going to use this one, the cucumber. Um, what is this? Like on the eyes, right? That looks really, really fun, right? So, if you're going to display it, actually, this looks really cool. I mean, like, you know, if you're going to display this one, I love it. You're gonna you're gonna love this one, guys. Believe me. But then uh, also those other uh, accessories also looks really nice, right? But I'm just saying, like you know, this one is actually perfect. You know, the outfit again, perfect for you know Christmas, right? The the how do you call that? Like jacket, uh, kind of like ugly jacket thing, like kind of like that. But yeah, this one looks really nice. Um, I think that's it. Uh, probably gonna do this one later on my posing uh, session. I forgot to attach it. Uh, yeah, but this one is, you know, this one. This is very easy to, you know, um, uh, do that. So, yeah, I think the other stuff, you could also display this together with, uh, yeah, to the side, together with this pajama style. That looks really fun as well. And of course, the size comparison between this invincible uh, Groot as well looks good, right? Yeah, you can display this together, actually. Yeah, this one. But then I'm, I'm kind of like afraid to. Uh, my, this one might gonna have some discoloration, you know, maybe in the future because this is like plastic Actually, like kind of like a soft plastic material, not a hard plastic So, I, I hope it's not gonna turn to into yellow color, right? Kind of like that, but it, this one looks really cool guys Kind of like a, uh, how do you call that? Like a holographic This one, this one actually called translucent Iwa But yeah, this one looks really cool, love the color, that, that uh, you know, effect, right? Yeah, I think that's it, so my overall thoughts on this uh, figure, I'd say if you like, you know, if you like Groot, uh, definitely a must buy, a must have figure. It's a no-brainer. You're going to love this figure. But of course, some of you, some of us maybe doesn't like it or you're not really into Groot. Maybe this is not for you. But, you know, I'd say uh, if you're thinking kind of like uh, on the fence of getting Groot figure, you, you're not going to go wrong on this one. So you're going to love this one. Um, yeah, it's really fun to display it. And especially with those interchangeable parts, accessories. That's really, really fun, guys. Okay. So I think that's about it. That's all I could say. And let me know your thoughts on this figure as well. Feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, if you like my unboxing and review, 
just don't forget to hit the like button so you can support this channel and subscribe if you haven't yet okay until then see you in the next one peace Groot oh my gosh I love this one